In this session, we're going to combine the final two steps in NetSuite's order to cash process, invoicing the customer, and then collecting payment. Now that the sales order has been fulfilled, our AR clerk is going to receive a notification that we have orders to invoice. At this point, there are a couple of options. I can create invoices for multiple sales orders simultaneously, or I can create the invoice directly from the sales order or item fulfillment transaction. At that point, the invoice approval routing will ensure that nothing goes out to the customer without being checked by the appropriate authority. Once the invoice is created, I can automatically email it to the customer and it'll be included in all of my AR agent reports. Switching over to NetSuite, I'm currently logged in in an AR analyst role. Again, this role-based dashboard is going to um, give me quick access to things like my AR aging report, customer credit limit status, or links to open or overdue invoices. My KPIs and um, analytics are going to be geared towards receivables, sales, new business, average days, sales outstanding, or DSO. In my reminders, I can see that we have a list of all our sales orders that are pending bailing, that pending billing that we need to invoice. If I drill into that reminder, I can see here, here's a list of all those sales orders that we need to invoice. These would all be pending billing. I can generate invoices for all these sales orders at once if I hit mark all and submit. Um, or I can invoice directly from the sales order like we talked about on that slide a couple minutes ago. So if I open up, let's open up that sales order that we just fulfilled for Smith Supplies. And take a look at that. So here's that sales order for Smith Supplies. Um, we can see it's in a pending billing status. And down here, we can see that um, on, the line, I, on the line level, we have fulfilled that solar attic fan, but we have not yet invoiced it. I can select bill remaining and it's going to pull all the detail from the sales order and for the from the customer or prospect record onto this invoice transaction. So I can see we've got Smith Supplies, we have um, our, our date, and then also a due date based on the terms that we've selected. Total amount comes over. Um, there's linkage back to that original sales order. And then the items as well. If I hit my billing tab, I can see our terms are gonna come in from the sales order, or I can set those on the customer prospect record and then have it automatically pull in there, as well as my bill to address. So we'll go ahead and save this invoice. Now, when I do that, I also have the option, um, if I wanted to save an email, I could email it to the customer as well. And then that approval routing uh, if I want an extra layer of checks, will will go into effect before it goes out to the customer. I don't have the approval turned on, so it just it just kicked right to that open status um, as, as we've sent this to the customer. Now that it's saved, it's also going to auto it's also going to populate in all my AR aging reports, so I can keep an eye on it for timely payment. Moving on, so now as I monitor my AR aging, I'm going to get reminders as payments come due so I can reach out to my customers if necessary. As I receive those payments, I'll create the payment transactions in NetSuite and then apply those to the designated invoice or group of invoices, which will also trigger system-generated confirmation emails. Next step um, is, is the invoice status will transition to paid if the full balance has been paid or remain open if there is still an outstanding amount. Back in the system, I'm going to pull up a quick AR aging report so we can take a look at that. Um, so here's a, here's a real-time AR aging report where we can see all our different customers. And then up here at the top, nice little 30, 60, 90 day uh, open balances. And then of course, you know, total before and total open balance. And these are, these are going to be drillable, just like any NetSuite report. I could drill in and see the underlying um, total open balance for Smith supplies, including the invoice that we just generated. 
back on my dashboard, I have a couple options. If Smith Supplies calls up and says, hey, we wanna, we wanna submit a payment, um, I can open up my payment transaction. If, the, if Smith Supplies has a specific um, invoice that they want to pay off, then we can apply it to a specific invoice or we can apply it to multiple invoices if they just wanna pay a quantity of their total balance. So I'll put Smith Supplies, the customer, it's going to automatically go to the AR account that I've been using for them. And then I can see a list of all the open invoices that Smith Supplies has, the amounts and the amount due. And then I can apply if, I, if, if Smith Supplies calls and says, hey, we want to apply uh, you know, $10,000 to our uh, balance, then I can input that auto apply and it's going to select the first um, four invoices that are due and um, apply the payment to those so that we pay those in full. Now, if um, there wasn't an amount, I could all, if they just called up and said, hey, we wanna pay that invoice, um, the invoice that we just created, I can go ahead and select that. It'll select the payment quantity. And then when I save this, it's going to um, apply that payment in a not deposited status since our, our final step would be to deposit it into our bank account. Um, but here we can see this payment's been saved. It's been applied here. Um, there's also payment methods I can select. In this case, we have a Visa card on file. Uh, but yeah, that's how we pay. Um, that's how we pay invoices, customer invoices in the system. And if I actually go back, um, I'm gonna open up that invoice. We'll see that the status of the invoice is now paid in full. You just paid that. And if I go to my sales order, since all these transactions are, are linked together, you can see that it was billed when we originally created that invoice.